Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard. In today's episode 36, we are going to cover real AZ900 exam questions on Azure horizontal and vertical scaling, virtual machines, blobs, Azure logs, and a host of other important Azure concepts. And of course, needless to say, there will be a lot of learning, a free PDF file with all the questions and the answers. And on top of that, there will be Microsoft documentation to strengthen your Azure learning and be AZ900 certified. Power packed episode is coming up. So let's begin. So here comes the very first question for the part 36, question number 681. It says that you need to create a new user for an Azure subscription. What should you use? To answer, select the service in the answer area. And please note, each correct match is worth one point. And here you can see that we are given with some of the services, for example, virtual machine, cost management, subscription, Azure Active Directory, virtual machine. I think this is the scale set. And then we have all resources, app services, resource group and many others. So out of these services, you have to choose which of the service would you use to create a new user for an Azure subscription. And the correct answer, my friends, is most definitely Azure Active Directory. And just to bring more highlight on this, Azure Active Directory AD is the centralized identity and access management solution for Azure resources. And to create a new user for an Azure subscription, you need to use Azure AD. And friends, before I move ahead, I just want to have a quick important discussion that many of you have been asking me. There are so many questions on AZ900 coming up. So should you wait for all these questions or should you go and attempt your AZ900 certification exam? And friends, my honest suggestion is that in case you are feeling confident, in case you are feeling prepared, then please go ahead and do the AZ900. You do not have to wait for all these parts that are coming up or lined up. It's just that Microsoft keep releasing new questions and it's my duty to bring all the latest questions so that your Azure learning is never outdated. But of course, as I said, if you feel confident, please go ahead and do your certification. And I wish best of luck to all of you who are attempting the AZ900 in the coming days. And with that, let's move on to the next question. Question number 682, that which term represents the ability to increase the computing capacity of a virtual machine by adding memory or CPUs. Your options are agility, option B is vertical scaling, option C is horizontal scaling and then lastly we have elasticity. And the correct answer for this question is option B vertical scaling. Now here comes the next question. Question number 683 says that which term represents the ability to increase the computing capacity by adding more virtual machines and I'm really sure that you might be getting a little confused that previous question 682 and 683 this one are looking exactly the same. But please note there is a difference in the previous question. The question was asking you to increase compute capacity by adding more memory or more CPUs. But then this question is asking you to increase compute capacity by adding more virtual machine. So there is the difference between the two questions. Well, for now, let's see the options given. The options once again are agility, vertical scaling, horizontal scaling and elasticity. And the correct answer this time, please note my friends, is option C horizontal scaling. Now let's take a couple of more questions on this scaling concept. Here comes the question number 684 that says scale in and scale out are related concept to horizontal scaling. Yes or no? And the correct answer my friends is yes. And one more question coming up on scaling concept. Question number 685 says that scaling up and scaling down are related concept to vertical scaling. Yes or no? And most definitely this is a true statement. That's why yes is the correct answer. And friends scaling is a very important concept. It's not just related to Azure, but it's also relevant for AWS and Google GCP. So in case you want to understand scaling a little bit more, type of scaling, for example, vertical scaling or horizontal scaling, then you must watch episode 6 of our Azure Fundamental series. And in this series, as you can see in the thumbnail also, besides scaling, you will also understand the concept of high availability, security and governance. And it's a free series, my friends. All the episodes are free, really recommended for anyone who is starting to work with Azure. And what's more, my friends, the entire series is fully synced with Microsoft Azure Fundamentals latest syllabus. 
and you will understand all the concepts based on which we covered the questions from 682 to 685 and that too in a single video. And here comes the question number 686 that says a company is planning on setting up a solution in Microsoft Azure. The solution would have the following key requirements. The requirement is provide a solution to host and manage a group of identical virtual machines. Which of the following would be best suited for this requirement? Your options are Azure Data Lake Analytics, Azure Virtual Machines Scale Sets, Azure Virtual Network and the last one is Azure App Service and most definitely the correct answer for this question is option B Azure Virtual Machine Scale Sets. And what are Azure Virtual Machine Scale Sets? Well, Azure Virtual Machine Scale Sets lets you create and manage a group of load balanced virtual machines. The number of virtual machines can automatically increase or decrease in response to the demand or defined schedule. And you can also read some of the benefits of Azure Scale Sets that are easy to create and manage multiple virtual machines provides high availability and application resiliency by distributing virtual machines across availability zones or fault domains. Then we have allow your applications to automatically scale as the resource demand changes and lastly works at large scale. So that's why my friends, in case you want to create a lot of virtual machines, identical virtual machines, load balance, in that case, go for Azure virtual machine skill sets. Coming up the next question, question 687 says a company is planning on setting up a solution in Microsoft Azure. The solution would have the following key requirement. The requirement is provide an isolated environment for hosting virtual machine. Which of the following would be best suited for this requirement? Your options are Azure Data Lake Analytics, Azure Virtual Machine Skill Sets, Azure Virtual Network and Azure App Service. And now that we are talking about isolated environment for hosting virtual machine, that's why the correct answer for this question is option C. Azure Virtual Network. So Azure Virtual Network, my friends, are a representation of your own network in the cloud. It's a logical isolation of Azure Cloud dedicated to your subscription where hosting of isolated virtual machine is possible. I hope you noted the last section of this paragraph. Isolated virtual machine is possible because that clearly matches with the requirement given in the question. And now comes one more similar question. It says once again, a company is planning on setting up a solution in Microsoft Azure. The solution would have the following key requirement. Provide a cloud service that helps to transform data and provide valuable insights on the data itself. Which of the following would be best suited for this requirement? Once again, Azure Data Lake Analytics is first option. The second option is Azure Virtual Machine Skill Sets. Then we have Azure Virtual Network and lastly Azure App Service. And could you get the right answer my friends? See the question is talking about help to transform data and provide valuable insights. That's why of course skill set is not the option. Virtual network is not related to the insights and then we have app service which is used to host web application and mobile application. That's why we are only left with Azure Data Lake Analytics and yes that is the correct answer. So friends in many of my videos I always talk about this elimination approach where you select the answer by eliminating those options that are not matching with the question. And that's the exact approach that I showcase you in this question. And just to give you more insights, Azure Data Lake Analytics is a distributed cloud-based data processing architecture offered by Microsoft in Azure Cloud. And friends, my suggestion is that whenever you're watching these videos, always read the question with me read the options and try to pick your answer before you see the answer given by me. Match your answer, try to relate your concept in these kind of tool tips. So this will really boost your confidence for AZ900 exam certification. So friends, if you like those two exam tips, then why not please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. Now let's move ahead with a similar question because we are left with one of the service and my endeavor is always that you understand all the services, all the options given in the question because the questions in the exam my friends can take different forms different formats so it's very important that you understand all these services well for now let's read the question number 689 that says the company is planning on setting up a solution in Microsoft Azure the solution would have the following key requirement and this time the requirement says hosting web application rest API and mobile backends which of the following would be the best suited for this requirement 
and I'm more sure that you have already selected the answer. The correct answer is option D, Azure App Service. And now comes question number 690. It says that you plan to create an Azure virtual machine. Now you need to identify which storage service must be used to store unmanaged data disk for virtual machines. What should you identify? Your options are blobs, rest based object storage for unstructured. The second option is files files shares that use standard SMB 3.0. The third option is tables, tabular data storage. And the fourth one is queues, effectively scale apps according to the traffic. And friends, I want to make it very clear that in real exam questions, you might not be given these texts here in these brackets. I have just presented this text for your understanding so that you understand and you get an idea on all these services. And for now, let's pick the correct answer. The correct answer for this question is option A and why this is so because we are talking about unmanaged data disk for virtual machine whenever you see this option here unmanaged data disk always go for blobs and now comes question number 691 that says this question requires you to evaluate the underlying text to determine if it's correct here you can see this underlying text the statement says the data that is stored in archive access tier of an Azure storage account can be accessed by azcopy.exe. Now the instruction says that review the underlying text. If it makes the statement correct, then you have to select no change needed, which is the very first option. Otherwise, if the statement is incorrect, then in that case, you have to select the answer choice that makes the statement correct. And the other options given are option B is can only read by using Azure backups. The option C is must be restored before the data can be accessed and option D is must be rehydrated before the data can be accessed. And friends, we have taken a lot of questions on Azure storage, access tiers, hot tier, cool tier or archive tier. And that's why I'm sure that you have already guessed the right answer. Well, the right answer is option D must be rehydrated before the data can be accessed. So whenever we are talking about archive access tier, in that case, always remember to hydrate it before the data can be accessed. And with that, here comes question number 692 that says, an Azure storage can have multiple delete logs. Yes or no? And the correct answer is yes. And I guess you're already thinking what is the use of multiple delete logs? Well, you can think multiple delete logs in this way. You can directly set a log on subscription resource group and then on resource level as well. That's why there is a multiple delete logs that you can put on any resource. Moving on with the question number 693, it says an Azure resource inherits logs from its resource group. Yes or no? And the correct answer is yes. So please remember when you apply a lock at a parent scope, all the resources within that scope inherit the same lock. And one more important point is that even resources that you add later inherit the lock from the parent and the most restrictive lock in the inheritance takes precedence. Coming up next is question number 694 that says if an Azure resource has a read only lock, you can add a delete lock to the resource. Yes or no? And the correct answer, my friends, is yes. And now we have question number 695. It says Azure Advisor provides recommendations how to improve security of Azure Active Directory environment. Yes or no? And the correct answer, my friends, is no. Now, in case you're already curious of what Azure Advisor does, let's find out in the next question. So here comes question number 696 that says Azure Advisor provides recommendation on how to reduce the cost of running Azure virtual machines. Yes or no? And yes, this time the correct answer is yes. And here comes question number 697 that says Azure Advisor provides recommendation on how to configure the network settings of Azure virtual machines. Yes or no? And this is a false statement. That's why no is the correct answer. So friends, I hope you like this approach of presenting the question related question. I group the question together so that you're not only prepared for that very question, but you also understand the entire landscape around that Azure concept. Do share your feedback to me if you like this approach. And in case you have other feedbacks, you are most welcome to share your thoughts on our email ID connectors at the rate the 
And now let's move on to the next question. Question number 698 says that you can configure the Azure Active Directory activity logs to appear in Azure Monitor. Yes or no? And this is a correct statement. That's why yes is the correct answer. And friends, there is a lot of debate on this question over the internet. That's why I did some research. Here is my research. It says that you can send Azure AD activity logs to Azure monitor logs to enable rich visualization, monitoring and alerting on the connected data. And further, it says all the data collected by Azure monitor fits into one of the two fundamental types, matrix and logs, including Azure AD activity log. And now comes the very important part. Please note that activity logs record when the resources are created or modified. And what does the matrix do? Well, matrix tells you how the resource is performing and the resources that it's consuming. So basically, activity logs keeps you updated whenever the resources are getting created or modified. On the other hand, matrix tells you how the resources are performing. Question number 699 says that from Azure Monitor, you can monitor resources across multiple Azure subscriptions. Yes or no? And this one, my friends, is a true statement. That's why yes is the correct answer. And also, just so you know, Azure Monitor can consolidate log entries from multiple Azure resources, subscriptions and tenants into one location for analysis together. And now comes question number 700. One more milestone in learning Azure and getting ready for AZ900. Let's read the question. It says from Azure Monitor, you can create alerts. Yes or no? And the correct answer for this question is, well, wait, what's your answer? Well, my answer is yes. You can tally your answer, but let me give you more insights on Azure Monitor. So you can create alerts in Azure Monitor. Alerts in Azure Monitor proactively notify you of critical conditions and potentially attempt to take corrective actions. Alert rules based on matrix provide near real time alerting based on the numeric values and the rules based on logs allow for complex logic across data from multiple sources. And I know all of you are waiting for the free PDF file so that you can also learn in the offline board. So here it comes from the part number 35. You have to tell me the correct answers for the question number 664, 670 and 678. And then from the part 36, you have to tell me the correct answers for the question number 682, 687 and question number 700. Send in your answers to our email ID connect us at the rate the techblackboard.com and always mention the part number whenever you're sending your answers. And please note my friends, in order to be eligible for these PDF files, you must be subscribed to the Tech Blackboard YouTube channel. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.